Hello, welcome to 9design 3D. Let's make this mystic environment gas station. First, we add our reference image. I downloaded it from the Google search. You can search it as a gas nozzle. Scale, rotate, and decrease opacity. Add cube, Z to wireframe, scale your cube. Place it to top of it. Add some loop cut. In tab to edit mode, you can move your vertices with G. Place it for matching your reference image. Add another vertices and E to extrude down for the side part. Select face, I to inset and E to extrude after that. Make same thing to the left part. Select your face, I to inset and E to extrude down. You can add another loop cut and select your vertices. G to move and scale your vertices. Select your two edges, M, Merge, at Center. Let's make middle holder part of it. Add cube again, scale, E to extrude your vertices and rotate some part of it. For little clips, Add cube again, scale, place, and extrude your vertices again. Z to solid mode. Add shade smooth and auto smooth. After that, subdivision surface modifier. Add some loop cuts for sharp edges. Make same thing to the little clips. For big part of holder, you can add another subdivision surface modifier again. Add cylinder for cable holder and nozzle. In wireframe, scale your metallic part I to insert the face and E to extrude. You can add some loop cuts and give bevel with Ctrl B, E to extrude, right click and Alt S to scale. You can make it the spiral parts of it, like that. For bottom part, cable holder, you can add cylinder again. I to insert face and E to extrude down. Select your inner part of faces, I to insert and extrude down. Gas nozzle is ready. Add it to the collection. Let's make little gas station for it. Add cube, scale, I to insert and extrude in Y axis. You can select bottom part of it and scale an x-axis. For middle part, you can extrude again. For this, E to extrude, right click and S to scale. It will give shape like that. For gas nozzle hole, add another cube. I to insert the face and E to extrude. Place it. For giving boolean, add cylinder and place it again. Select your little holder part and give boolean modifier. Choose your cylinder as an object. You can give your big station 
Boolean modifier make same process for it. Unhide your gas nozzle, rotate scale and place it near of your station. Let's add little holder clips. For this, add cube and scale. Add loop cut with Ctrl R. Select side faces and E to extrude in Z axis. It will be like that. For top part of clip, add loop cut. Choose middle faces with Alt and X to delete faces. Select edge line with Alt and F to fill. Let's make cable at curve path. In tab to edit mode, E to extrude your vertices for giving round the curve shape. In geometry, give some depth to your curve. You can decrease resolution. Shift E to duplicate your cable holder, Alt P clear parent. Right click to your cable, convert to mesh. Let's add texture to our little station. Give a gray metallic material like that. You can add another material with plus icon. I downloaded this gas pump price texture from the Google. In this website, I cut this from here. We will add this gas texture. In shading tab, shift A, image texture. Select your texture, U to unwrap, in UV edit tab if, if smart project is not cool for you, you can select your middle face and unwrap individually. In UV edit part, you can place and scale your texture like that. If you want, you can add some borders. For this, add loop cuts, press G twice for not stretch your texture. E to extrude in Y axis. You can assign your other material for edges and decrease roughness. You can select other edges and X to dissolve edges. You can give some bevel to side part with Ctrl B and SI gas pump side texture. Let's add text. Shift A, add text. In tab to edit mode, you can write what you want. I made it gasoline. In texture settings, you could change your font type like that. Give some extrude. Decrease your resolution. Right click, convert to mesh. You can add material now. Our gas pump is ready. Let's make big station sailing. Add cube and scale. E to extrude, bottom face and scale. Add some loop cuts, select bottom edges, Ctrl B to bevel and E to extrude in Z axis. You can delete 
other faces with X dissolved edges. Let's make some column. For this, we will add some cube. With numpad Ctrl 7, you can look your mesh's bottom part of it. Let's make concrete piece. We will put our gas pump on it. Select your gas holder's parts, add mirror modifier. After that, select other part and last selection, mirror it part, Ctrl L and copy modifiers. You can add some metallic materials for this. Shift it to duplicate, art rotate, and place your gas pumps. Let's make rail for this, add circle. In tab to edit mode, select half of it and delete. E to extrude, right click, and alt S to scale. Give subdivision surface modifier. With A, select all faces, E to extrude in X axis. You can add some loop cuts or make sharp edges. And give a metallic rail material. Let's make asphalt part of it. Add plane and E to extrude down. For channels, add loop cuts. Ctrl B to bevel and E to extrude down. I downloaded this concrete material from the ambientcg.com. In shading tab, Ctrl Shift T, add your textures like that. In UV edit tab, you can scale it how you want. Give some bevels for corner edges. For ground, again, con choose Principal BSDF and Ctrl Shift T. In ambientcg.com, I downloaded this asphalt texture. Shift T to duplicate and G to move. For columns, I downloaded this plaster texture. You can make same thing for adding material. You can use to unwrap your column. With Smart UV project. If you want to make darker another plaster material, you can press New Material icon and add bright contrast. Select top edges and write Mark Seam. After that, you can unwrap that. If it looks so bumpy, you can delete your displacement maps from the textures. Let's make container shop house. Add a cube. Add some loop cuts with Ctrl R. Select front edges, Ctrl B to bevel and E to extrude in Y axis. You can give some bevels for it. Add a cube for window and door holes. Select your container and add boolean modifier. Make same thing for the windows. And add top part of it. For edges, you can add some cubes and make them a border for your door and windows. Give plaster material on it and you to unwrap. Let's make sign, add plane, scale, E to extrude in Y axis, I to inset and E to extrude inner part of it. Again, let's add a glass material. I showed you before how to download and use your Blender kit add-on for Blender. You can go to other video from right top card. I will add glass material, this scratched glass. Drag and drop on your mesh. 
I will download some materials and assets from Quixel Bridge. I showed it before too in my some videos. You can go that video from top right card. I will download some street assets from here. Export to my Blender project. You can add like this. If your asset too heavy, you can add some decimate modifier for increase this vertices and face counts. I will add this type of assets and props from here. I added some natural part of it to the backyard, like that. Add loop cuts, E to extrude, right click and Alt S to scale. We will give some neon color to here. Plus, for another material, choose emission and assign. You can set your color and strength value like that. Let's add text for our gas station sign. Shift it to duplicate other part of it from the shop. G to move and place it. In tab to edit mode, you can write your gas station name how you want and give some material for it. In text setting, you can change your font type and extrude your text like that. Let's make little spotlights. Add cylinder, I to insert inner part of it and add another emission material for this. For look like a light in cycle view. Shift it to duplicate it. You can add some area lights. Shape disk. Shift it to duplicate it. Give some natural light for your scene. Shift it to duplicate for shop sign. It will look like that in cycle view. Let's make some fog. Add a cube and scale as your scene. Add material. Principle volume. Connect volume to volume. You can decrease your density like that. 0.02. Add noise texture and add color ramp. Connect them each other. Slide your back node in color ramp. Change your scale and detail. You can give some color to your fog. Our scene will look like that with fog. In world section, you can change your background light, like that. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you like. If I miss something, you can tell me on the comments. See you later.